you know, the language of kind of storytelling in VR right now is, is quite limited, you know? It's like, we, we feel like we've gotten a really good handle on what you can do with 360 video, and we're working on that with Interactive right now, but it's so young and it's so new that we're discovering something new every day. We obviously didn't want to be waiting 20 years to, to tell stories in virtual reality, so we put together a roster of, of like-minded creators, as we call them. So, so thinkers, directors, people with a background in feature film, immersive theater, digital artists. That's been one of the, the joys and the success stories of having a, a, a creatively driven company, which I think sets us apart from, from a lot of other companies that are probably more interested in tech demos than storytelling. You know, it's one of those things where you said, you know, we're, we, we try to push the boundaries. I actually don't think it's that hard to push the boundaries right now because so much hasn't even been tried yet. And that's one of the kind of the funnest parts of it is, is what can we do that hasn't been done, but, you know, what can we do that hasn't been done that's going to absolutely blow you away? This is our, um, our flagship rig. It's stereo. Uh, with very wide angle lenses, and this is what you can get very close to in the stereo pairs. So this rig we've sent out all over the world to war zones, to really hot environments, really cold environments. Um, this is our low light rig. We've been shooting with these cameras for almost a year now. Uh, we used the A7S Mark I originally, then eventually switched to the Mark II. This basically, the arrangement is to cover both poles, so you get a full stitch out of four cameras, um, and without losing like the good quality of the center of the lens. When we when we started out the gate, the tools weren't really in existence, so we had to build a technology department, the Heavy Dragons, to create camera rigs and and even even little things like being able to watch playback when you're shooting. I mean, nothing was in existence. So we had very fresh voices and people who had a background in storytelling, and then we married them with more of a technological group. Everything, yeah, every single project, there's something new that we need to, which, we are, which is also, again, important for us to stay relevant and, and ahead of the curve. Uh, we, uh, we rethink everything, which you have to rethink absolutely everything when it comes to VR. The, the, the directing is different, the acting is different, the cameras are different, the post-production is different, even the app and the digital development for it is different. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is the problem. Like, the reason I left Oculus was because I saw that there was a group of people who were super interested in the technology didn't know how to really work with it. Um, they were being promised the sun and the moon and the stars. They're, they're promised the, hol the holodeck and it isn't here yet, right? So um, you can't, without understanding what the current state of the technology is, you really can't create meaningful content. You can't really understand the boundaries in order to break through them. The big step for me outside of tech was to come to Hollywood. It seems kind of silly in hindsight, but um, uh, or even currently, it seems pretty silly, but here I am trying to, uh, try, trying to figure out how we best attack um, creative problems in the medium and working with uh, writers and directors around how do you tell story in this new medium as the medium itself is evolving. So it's a moving target all the time and that's what, it, it's, it, it, it's a lot of fun. Thank you.